Hello and welcome back to the weekly roundup everyone. My name is NintendoGen64. My name is Liam. Thanks for joining us. And this is week four of the ISGP uh, tournament, isn't yes. it Liam? A whole month has passed. Uh, excellent speedrun. Yes, and, uh, a whole month has passed. I think it's... Oh yes? What is that shirt you're wearing? Was it this shirt? Yeah, that shirt. Oh! Oh, well let me, let me tell you my, uh, my good friend. Oh, tell me. This here is uh, the official ISGP uh, 2018 white shirt. Oh, jeez. I say white because this shirt also comes I mean, in black as well. <gasps> I have, I have one on. Yeah, oh, you're wearing the shirt as well. Dear me, how embarrassing. Oh my this. god, does this mean we have merch? We have merch. We have merch, yes. Uh, you can right now go to our um, Teespring store and, and purchase uh, a shirt exactly like this one. It also yeah, comes in black. Comes in black, comes in mug form and uh, jacket form. Yeah, we have, we have hoodies, we've got mugs, we've got jackets, we've got, well, we've got jackets, we've got hoodies, we've got mugs, we've got t-shirts. Uh, and you can go right now to our Teespring store and purchase it mm -hmm. and all proceeds will actually be reimbursed back into the tournament uh, for future tournament purposes. Uh, so don't worry, we won't be using this money for uh, private use. This will all be uh, Going back into the tournament to, to fund some prizes or something, or or things for future tournaments, fly out some proper speedrunners and play. Yeah, well, <laughs> look, we don't know what we're going to do yet, but we, we know that um, we we have some merchandise, so you can go right now and uh, and purchase it if you wish. So go do that. Go do that. Yes. Now, week four has been uh, a good week, I think. Um, very busy week in this tournament. A lot, a lot of shakes and moves, but but uh, of course, before we do anything, Liam and I are gonna. Look at this, uh, Group oh. A! What's happening with Group A, Liam? Tell me. Well, we've got a clear lead here from Casey and Trump. These two have been on the top since the tournament began, pretty much. Mm. And falling behind, we have Stick It, and a nice even score, and uh, Ratchet 5, who's uh, bringing up the rear. Mm, yes, yes, yes. And, uh, and Liam, who did a few matches this week, has dropped now to 6th place in the group. Uh, number 7. Number 6. Number 6, yes. Yeah, number 6. Mm. Group B! Uh, did a few matches this week, they listened to us. Um, I'm currently first place in Group B with four wins, one loss. Uh, Luke R44 sitting in second with three wins, no losses. Uh, G4 Video 5, three wins, two losses. Uh, yeah, Knight NC. That's even score again. Yeah. Yes, uh, and uh, you can see that we've got a few new faces there in, uh, in Group B, which we'll talk about momentarily. Uh, group C, yes, Wally One has uh, the most wins of uh, anyone in the tournament so far. Good job, Wally. He's got five wins, one loss. We're on Zeph, uh, four wins, no losses. Uh, Crystal Fissure moving into third Crawls place. Crawls his way up to three. Crystal Fissure. Three wins, three losses. Uh, Toto Zigum, uh, two wins, no losses. And uh, all the way down we go to Mammoth Club 2 with uh, no wins and three losses. Nice. Three. No match is done for Max this week. No, man. Uh, well, he has done a match. I've uh, it's done. I've uh, loaded it. Yeah, I see. So, let's talk uh, about news, and, and we're going to talk about, first of all, about replacements that have happened. Who's gone? Who's in? Tell me about it. Well, well Group B has had a bit of a shake-up this week. Um, so, we've lost uh, we've lost Avado. He's gone. He was a, a candidate for the kick, if you remember last and week. he's been kicked. Eliminated. <laughs> Deleted, as you might say. Uh, and we also, uh, at his request, Wed, fi Wed C517 has withdrawn himself from the tournament mm. and has been replaced with a new person. Who might it be? Whose name is Newman. Oh wait, no it's not, it's Newen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Newen now, the uh, the newest member of Group B. Welcome, enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay in Group B. Now, uh, some other things to talk about too. Uh, last week we announced a hashtag for go through. Right. And, uh, and that was received quite positively, I, I believe. All right. And, and some of you created the Crassic Championship. Crassic Championship, all right, I remember. And the Crassic League. That's right. I remember this. Um, so, another addendum to the uh, grand final and, and sort of the next round after this. Uh, so, the winner of the Crassic League, so the Crassic Speedrunning Champion, whoever that might be, uh, will be reinserted back into the tournament proper. Oh. But, but how does that work? Second yeah. chance? What do you mean? Okay, so, so let, hear me out, hear me out. So, uh, round two is going to have uh, the top two from each group go through. As we know. So there'll be three matches in round two. That's right. right. The winners of those three matches will go to the grand final. The losers of those three matches will go into another four-way match, which will include the classic speedrunning champion. As the fourth man. And the winner of that four-way oh. will get 
put into the grand final. So a shot at the grand final, it's not over yet. So now we'll have a four person grand final. Oh, exciting. And my only reasoning for this is because when I thought about editing the video, having uh, three videos in instead of four videos looks a bit weird. Oh, we like the classic split screen, like you one in each corner. Yeah, so, so we're going to have a four person grand final now, um, and that'll be interesting. And it, it also means that in, in round two, um, the, the losers of, of round two get a second chance. So round two won't be as. Um, Nerve wracking, I don't think. Now, no sandbagging to become the Crassic Championship, please. Well, it's tough if you become a Crassic Champion. If you become a Crassic Champion, you not only have to race every single person in the uh, in the Crassic uh, League, but you also have to go through into you know another four way match. So it's a lot of legwork to get into the final. Now, that being said, um, I think that's all the news of the all week. All the news. That's it. Uh, so now, I guess we do we talk about. Um, Matches of the week? Match of the week? Match of the week. Match of the week. Now, I actually have an honorable mention for match of the week this week. Alright, tell me. My, my honorable mention goes to uh, Yes Wally 1 uh, versus Noel. Mm. Uh, only reason it's an honorable mention is because the match, uh, even though it took place, both the guys screwed up royally in the match, <laughs> and uh, they'll have to redo it. And that's what we like to see. It was such a weird run, but I, I think. Uh, I think Ratchet 5's editing, coupled with the weirdness of the run, made it uh, thank you, quite fun. Andrew. Thank you, so that's our only honourable mention, unless you have one. I have none. No honourable mentions. Okay, let's move on to Match of the Week. week. Match of the Week. Angus, I'll let you start. Now, my Match of the Week, uh, <laughs> it's pretty obvious, I think, again. And I'm, I'm sick of giving this particular group the Match of the Week award every week. Oh. It's going to be from Group C, oh. Ashley, Versus Crystal Fissure. Ashley, Crystal Fissure again. Now, Crystal Fissure has had these weird runs where he keeps getting super, super close to these people. I think it was a difference of like 10 seconds in his race against Ashley. He, he won, but uh, but yeah, it was very, very close. Not by much, small margin. And, and they both also screwed up the first run too, but being complete idiots. That's right. But that's it. That's the last time I'm going to be giving a, a fucked up Crystal Fissure run match of the week because I'm sick of him. I'm sort of, the meme is dead for me now. Oh, it's gone. Uh, did you have a match of the week? Now, I'll have to preposition this by saying uh, my view on speedrunning has changed from competitive to fun. To fun? I'm here for fun. Are you? You might have seen my stick kid race, that wasn't very fun. You didn't seem like you were having fun there. Now, is that a match of the week? I'm having fun. So I give my match to Fraser versus the stick kid's Indictive. Oh, yes, yes, yes. For a fun, fun match. Oh, bonus okay. points for <laughs> Fraser doing the bone dance at the end of the race. <laughs> Uh, he did not do the backflip though, so I think Lotte did that points. Did that points for Fraser? For Fraser there for not doing the backflip and the bone dance. But great video, great race. Uh, this is what these tournaments are all about. I think um, I'm safe to say that we're having the most fun we've ever had in a speedrun tournament, I think. Hmm. A lot of fun. Now, uh, last week as well, we mentioned um, there were a few people who would candidate for the kick if they didn't do their matches. That's right. Well, well, I'm pleased, very pleased to report that uh, that. I mean, they're not all uploaded, but Muddy Meister has done a match. Christian has done several matches. On a man. And uh, James Jones as well, well has done a match which has actually been uploaded. Yes. And you know he lost. So, you guys listen to us. Now, Now for this week, this is a very crucial week coming up, week five, because uh, this will be the week where we start to uh, mathematically eliminate people from the top uh, four. So there, there are a few people who already pretty much can't get through, like Lyle is pretty much gone. Um, <laughs> this indicative has a chance still, believe it or not. Isn't it? There, there are some interesting things going on in Group A, oh. and, and there are a few matches that, that will determine what happens there, because there's a very good chance that ma uh, Group A has a triple threat to decide Put what Stick Kid through. Um, group B, I think uh, XCal might be mathematically eliminated at this point, but but that'll wait, that remains to be seen. So next week, on the weekly roundup, I will talk about some people who pretty much can't go through. That's right. And hopefully we'll have some matches done that they lock in some uh, some third or fourth or second place people. We'll have some stats. So, so next week, ready for some stats. next week will be a very interesting week. Uh, we've sort of laid the foundation, and now uh, everything that goes on from here. Matches really matter from here on out. Mm -hmm. We're sort of when you start a tournament where you've got nine races to do, the first few you're like, ah, whatever, I can lose a couple. Well, now we're getting down to the business end of the round, um, and we'll be seeing some people um, go through and lock in their places, and we'll see some people, unfortunately. Eliminated. Anyway, uh, that's the end of, uh, of this week's uh, roundup. I'd like to thank William for, uh, for joining me. And I'd like to thank Angus for his lovely shirt I'm wearing. Yes, and, and as we say, go go to our Teespring store. I'll, I'll link it down there, and maybe I'll put like a card up somewhere if I can figure out how to do that. Mm. And uh, and go buy our shirts, buy our mugs, buy all our products, and uh, and, and 
support the, the tournaments. Now, week five has already begun. Week five has begun. And not a single match has been uploaded. Or even done. <laughs> well done. Uh, as I always say, for well for now, <laughs> but not forever. Yes. See you guys. See you later, guys. It's easy. Just dance. <laughs> So basically, um, what I was thinking of was, um, oh fuck, I can't believe you've done this.